I've been gone for some time. Hi everyone, or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kaizen Suho, and if you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey. I kind of feel like Nicki Minaj and Rihanna, where like I retire and then I come out of retirement and we're back in business like I never left. That is the situation right now. And some really exciting things have happened on the channel or to the channel since I've been gone. The first one is that we hit our 10,000 milestone. Yay! I don't even remember if I said thank you for 10,000 subscribers, but thank you so much. We are literally at the doorstep of 15,000 and really excited about that. The second really big milestone is that the channel is now sitting on plus 1 million views. So while we were both away, actually you guys were still watching, while I was away, we literally hit it's 1 million lifetime views on the channel and I cannot even tell you how incredible that felt when it happened. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for continuing to support me and support the channel. Reaching milestones such as these two are incredibly validating and they definitely give a content creator all the energy and motivation they need to keep pumping content and doing the best that they can do for you and for the channel. So thank you so much for that. It was such an incredible moment and experience. Also, while I was away, I had a milestone birthday, so I was celebrating that. Yay! And yeah, let's get into today's video. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be comparing two of Revlon's most utilized, purchased, and loved tools. The one that I have on this side is a Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. And the one that I have on this side, which you guys are very familiar with on the channel, is the Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Oh, Revlon needs to rethink the names of these tools. They are quite a mouthful. But going forward in this video, just so that you guys know exactly what I'm referring to, this one is going to be called the Volumizer. This one is going to be called the Styler because essentially they are both hair dryers, but they give your hair two different finishes, as you guys will see. And just for the purpose of the video, just to tell you guys a comparison, the Styler is more like a paddle brush. There really is nothing else in these bristles except for the plastic and it has a cool set as well as two heat settings. As I said, this one is called the Volumizer. It has a metal plate, which is different to this one. It also has bristles, like really coarse bristles. Then it has like the paddle brush, um, these things. And because this has the bristles and it also has the, I don't know what you call these, the spoky plastic bristles, um, it, 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 it helps with smoothing the hair. So what I find is when I use this one compared to this one, my hair feels much smoother. It has a lot more movement um, and a lot more body. But then again, that's its purpose. It is a volumizer. Same cool setting and then two heat settings. When it comes to weight, I would, feel, I would think that they actually both weigh about the same. They really do feel like they weigh the same to me. But if you get the small one, they weigh the same. If you get a bigger one, my assumption would that the bigger one would kind of probably weigh more than this one. So the way that I filmed today's video, as the video progresses, I'll be adding some footage from the blow drying or from the styling experience and telling you guys what I think and what the outcomes are. Okay, so because I'm a creature of structure, we are going to be comparing these two tools across five key metrics. I sound like such a banker, but listen, I needed to create that in my mind so that I can give you guys a fair comparison of both of these tools. The five key metrics that we're going to be looking at are price, ease of use, speed, as in how quickly you dry your hair with each, environmental health, and under this specific category, we're looking at the noise volume, we're looking at how hot it gets, how good it is for your hair, and these are all very subjective because obviously, I mean, I'm not a scientist. And then we are going to be looking at finally, number five, desired outcome. Does it give you the outcome that you expected when you purchased it or when you utilize it? So just for some context, guys, the reason why I now have two of these tools is when I started the video, I mentioned that you guys are very familiar with this one on the channel. I've had this one for some time. I purchased this one, um, last year I think when I was still natural and I wanted to wear my hair in a straighter format and I felt as though purchasing this would help me to blow out my hair easier but since I relaxed my hair there were some shortcomings with this one and this 
led to me wanting to supplement and purchase this one. Do I still use both of them? Sometimes. Do I have a preferred one? Yes. And you will know at the end of the video which one I prefer and which one I recommend. Okay, so let's jump right into it. First key metric, price. What are the price points of these two devices? So the Styler at the moment is going for 639 Rand um, through the promotion at Clicks, which I think is gonna be ending on the 24th of December. So it gives you some time to rack up some of your coins to purchase this one if you do wish to buy this one. The Volumizer is 959 Rand at the moment on promotion, also 20% off, also on the same promotion that is ending on the 24th of December. I feel like I work for clicks with me promoting <laughs> these prices. I purchased a smaller size version because what I read with the reviews was that the smaller one is much easier to handle, the bigger one gets a bit bigger and you end up having to use both of your hands to roll, which defeats the purpose, right? of having two tools in one because I do want to have a hand free to hold my hair and to guide my hair. Okay, let's move on to the second key metric, ease of use. If you think about the purpose of these tools, they are supposed to be a two in one kind of tool where they replace a hairdryer and a paddle brush or a hairdryer and a round bristle brush. That's what these tools are essentially, right? When it comes to the utilization and whether or not they are easier to use, the answer is simple, yes they are. It's better to use this and have a free hand than to be using a blow dryer and a paddle brush or a blow dryer and a round bristle brush. However, there are some shortcomings with utilization, okay? This brush is only effective at the top part. So, so hot air only blows from this top part. Everything else down here, there is no air that is being blown out of it. When you brush your hair down, you need to kind of point the brush down like this. Don't brush like that because if you do end up using it like this, the section of the hair that's in contact with this part, that will get heated up and this is just pulling and tugging and breakage because there is no heat that is assisting. So I now use it in a downward manner like that and it's far more effective. On ease of use with this, these tools get very hot. So when you use this tool, it will definitely get hot at this point, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a hand tool because how else then are you gonna be able to, or are you supposed to hold it if it heats up? And it heats up very, very quickly. This one, if you're not careful, so they give you like a resting place for your fingers here when you are like using it and like turning like this but there's sometimes when your finger kind of slips and then it touches the metal plate and then it really hurts. But as for heating up anywhere where you're holding the device, this does not heat up. Also on ease of use, I think if you look at the shape of this device, right, or of this tool, it's more of an oval shape and bristle brushes are round. I find it a bit tricky to use, and this is also huge. I find it a bit tricky to use because it is so big and it is oval and I can't get my hair to kind of curl like the other people do when they use it. I've also watched reviews where people mention that the new gener or the next generation of this now is detachable. But some people have speculated that it could be that Revlon might be coming out with different attachments for the base, which I think if they were to do that, it would be absolutely incredible and change the game because to be honest, I'm not a fan of this shape. As much as this is still the small version of the volumizer, it, I still find it to be quite bulky and big. And if I could choose different attachments and sizes and shapes, while still keeping this powerful base, that would be absolutely incredible. So let's see what they do in the upcoming years with this tool and with the next gen that they've now created. So the next key metric is speed in terms of drying. Hands down, the volumizer is much, much quicker. Well, the key to drying your hair quickly with these tools is not to use it on wet or damp hair. So what I do is when I get out the shower, I always work on my ends. So I will dry my ends first and work from the bottom, work towards the top. And then when I get up here, I actually lift the hair. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna lift the hair and then I turn it up and then I blast my roots with the heat. 
leave it for a second while I stretch the hair and then I turn and turn and turn and then I smooth it in that way. So that's how I use this one. But I find that it stretches the growth out which makes it easier for me and quicker for me to work through the sections. Also very important to detangle your hair before you move to this. This is not a detangling tool. Okay, the next key metric is environmental health. So from a noise perspective, they are both equally as loud. It's just that this one has a higher pitched whirring sound. And this one has a lower pitched sound. With regards to heat and the health of your hair, they are both incredibly hot tools and I think that all styling tools are hot. I feel like there are two different types of people in this world. There are people who absolutely love the Dyson and there are people who absolutely love these tools. And having had the privilege of using the Dyson, I will say that I am Team Revlon hair tools. The finish that you get with both of these, both the styler and the volumizer, is head and shoulders above what you get with the Dyson. And you guys are free to also watch the reviews, right? Don't hear it from me. When I used the Dyson, I just felt like it didn't, it didn't take my hair to the level that I wanted it to go. From the reviews that I have watched and from my personal experience having used the Dyson, my hair was dry, yes, but it had a bit of frizz and fluffiness that I believe that extra bit of heat could have alleviated. When I look at the side-by-side -side comparison that people do with the Dyson, the Airwrap or the hair dryer, um, which is the one that I used, the Dyson side always just seems very puffy and fluffy and the Revlon side always looks very sleek and shiny and smooth. This is why I will always prefer and use the Revlon tools until something else comes in the market that I think is as healthy as a Dyson because I mean health is relative. Um, and you can damage your hair with anything that you use if you don't use it properly. Desired outcome is a category that looks at whether or not one achieves their desired outcome when they utilize the tool. When I purchased this tool, I wanted to achieve a blowout on my natural hair. And did it do that? Yes. However, my hair reverted very quickly after using this tool. And what that means is if I wanted to achieve that blowout look i needed to do a silk press meaning i need to needed to straighten so it is powerful enough to blow out your natural hair but your natural hair is going to revert okay with this one did i get the desired outcome kind of i think because of the shape of this brush i really do struggle to get that bump like the people get when they do um, when they use this tool and I've watched a million of these reviews where people have used this tool and they show how they like rotate the hair around and for me I just get scared because I'm like yo this is so hot like how many times must I rotate to actually get that bump and I do get the bump it's just not like you know it's not like this like with the straightener it's very subtle and for the amount of heat I'm putting on my hair strands and for the duration I'm putting it on for just a subtle bump i'm like i might as well just take a straightener i don't know if maybe i still need to learn how to use it properly but i do think that my hair feels so soft and so smooth compared to this one having gone through the five key metrics of comparison between the volumizer and the styler what are my final thoughts on these two tools which one is the best one which one should you run and not walk to go and get here's my answer it depends <laughs> so it depends and it depends on these factors if you're a natural girl there is no way the volumizer is gonna work 4c 4b 4b maybe 4c i'm sorry 4c up to z or wherever this type cool type cool head chart goes up until it's not gonna work it's gonna break your hair okay so don't even stay away from this one this one this one is for the natural hair girlies okay this is a win for the natural hair girlies the reason why i decided to move from this one to this one is that what i noticed is 
because I stretched my relaxer out so much, these bristles were not thin or, or, or fine enough to reach my scalp and I wasn't getting the flatness that I desired. When I moved to the volumizer, I think that it helped somewhat. Like for example, if I am doing the front of my hair, I can literally put the comb like right there and I can spin it around and spin it around and it can literally catch that new growth but still the bristles are too big to get that growth the way that I want it to be gotten at like a 10 week, 12 week, 12 week relaxer hair stretch mark. So for that reason I don't think that either of these tools are effective enough to tackle new hair growth with relaxed hair girlies but this does a better job than this i personally think this is a win for me because i'm relaxed because it's effective because it doesn't burn my hand irrespective of the price point this just is more effective for me at this point because of my hair more than this one so i will say the volumizer for me wins let me know in the comment section which one you're loving which one you're using which one do you have and did i convince you or swear you to get one or the other and yeah i'll see you in the next one ciao for now